So you're thinking about moving to Sandy Springs, but you want to know uh, maybe the proximity to Atlanta or the airport or the suburbs where you might be working, places to eat, shop, dining, restaurants, like what your life and lifestyle might look like. And that's what today's video is all about. And we're going to do it on a map on my computer. So let's get after it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing the good and the bad of living in Atlanta, Georgia, or in this case, Sandy Springs, well then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Atlanta. My name is Denny and the team and I get calls each and every day from people just like you looking to make the move to Atlanta and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week, next month, next year, or any time in between, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Atlanta. As I mentioned in this video, we're going to be going around Sandy Springs on a map so you can kind of get some understanding about its proximity to really, you know, important places and like maybe what traffic looks like, what time it takes, uh, because let's face it, hey, the, the worst mistake you could make is moving to the wrong area. So we want to make sure you have all the information you need to make a sound decision. And so we're going to get after it. I'm going to hop into my computer. So let's get going. All right, well, here we are in uh, Sandy Springs. And uh, as you can see, this little outline right here, this is the general border of Sandy Springs. And so I want to uh, point out a couple of things. It's in Fulton County, kind of in North Fulton County, uh, not the northernmost tip, but northern. And if you remember from any of our other uh, map videos just to give you a bigger perspective. Uh, here's Atlanta here, it's downtown. And then this is the, what we call the perimeter It's interstate 285. And it goes down and around all of Atlanta. And then you have I-20 that runs east to west. And out here to the uh, east, you have Augusta, and out here to the west, you have Birmingham, uh, Alabama. The northwest, you have 75, which goes up into Tennessee. The northeast, you have 85, which goes over to Athens and uh, Georgia and up into um, Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, then you have 75, 85 are together through the city, and then here you have 75 goes this way. 85 goes this way. This is uh, the Buckhead area. And here's Brookhaven. And so 400 goes up here through Sandy Springs, Roswell, uh, and on up north. And so as you can see, this is Sandy Springs here. So let me throw away all that. Let me zoom out a little bit. And if we're going from Sandy Springs to... Um, there we go. I live up in the Alpharetta area. Uh, I have lived in uh, Sandy Springs, Dunwoody, which is right there next to it, uh, Marietta, uh, in the city of Atlanta. The only place I really haven't lived is on the south side. Uh, I have done all of this up here on the north side at some point or the other, and uh, earlier in life through my 20s, uh, I was down in the city. I actually went to Georgia State University down here in the city and played soccer there and then kind of lived all over that in town area made my way up um, through uh, this northern in, inside the perimeter and then uh, right here in the northwest for a while and then settled kind of here in the north central and then made our way up here to uh, the northern Alfred and Milton coming area and so uh, I've lived up and down here for uh, a long, long time and would love to just give you a tour, kind of show you around. So Sandy Springs, this is uh, a Tuesday. I'm recording this on a Tuesday um, and it is literally 5.09. So this is as bad as traffic gets and it's an hour from Sandy Springs down here to the airport. Um, if you were going just into the city of Atlanta, then that's gonna be 45 minutes 
if you were going to make your way over to Truist Park for an Atlanta Braves game, that right now is about 25 minutes. You can cut all of these, shave all of these times by 30 to 50% when there's no traffic. So I'm showing you like the worst of the worst of the worst. It's five o'clock. This is as bad as it gets. Uh, if you're going up to like Alpharetta, where I'm at, well, then that's going to be about 26 minutes up 400. Uh, if you're going to go uh, over at, say, Mercedes-Benz Stadium for a Falcons game or a United game, it's going to be about 40 minutes right now during rush hour traffic. So that just kind of gives you an idea uh, of some of the different places you might be trying to get uh, in, in from Sandy Springs, depending on where you work. So let me kill all of that. And again, here you go, Sandy Springs. Let me um, actually, if you haven't watched our vlog on Sandy Springs, I'd highly recommend that. Um, we do an actual video tour and tour some houses. Um, but here's that 285. And right next door to Sandy Springs, you have Dunwoody. And as you can see that this chunk of sandy springs is actually inside of the perimeter we call that itp and then the most of it most of sandy springs is north of 285 it's outside the perimeter and most of it is west of 400 and so uh, that's typically where most people think of when they think of Sandy Springs. You can see it also borders East Cobb. Um, you have Whitewater, which is a water park over here. Truist Park, which is where the Braves play. Um, Smyrna, Vinings, Brookhaven, Buckhead, Chastain Park. Um, they have an amphitheater there that's really cool. Uh, and here's the Shambly area. So this is all the what borders and then on the north side you have Roswell Roswell's on the west and east side so there's a west and an east Roswell uh, and then over here into Peachtree Corners and so that's what surrounds Sandy Springs but you can see there's a little sliver which is over here on the east side of 400 um, this most people would think is Dunwoody but it's not um, I actually used to live uh, right here on the back side of this Dunwoody Country Club. Uh, and my address was uh, Sandy Springs, but um, it was very close to Dunwoody Country Club. I play soccer down here uh, with some buddies at Brook Run Park. And so uh, that's what's going on. Let me uh, delete that and um, point out a couple of things that I think you might enjoy. You can see there's Morgan Falls, Dunwoody Nature Preserve, Abernathy Greenway, um, Chattahoochee uh, Nature Center, uh, if I zoom in, there, where's the big tree? Big tree um, forest preserve. These are all really great, big, huge parks. And a lot of people don't realize it, but because Sandy Springs borders this water right here, you can go paddle boarding, canoeing, uh, kayaking. You can do all that stuff right up here on the, uh, on the river in Sandy Springs, there's tons of running, walking, biking, outdoor uh, enjoyment and entertainment. And so uh, that's kind of uh, what's going on in Sandy Springs. If you go down here, this feels, you know, it feels like this area feels more like Buckhead. I'm here to tell you, regardless of where you move, if you find yourself in Georgia, I would highly recommend that you get in your car and you just cruise down any of these uh, arteries through Sandy Springs uh, because there are some of the nicest homes you will ever see. I, I mean, I just love riding through that area down into Buckhead and down into Brookhaven. There's just some really, really gorgeous homes. And there's some of them featured on my uh, vlog tour and I ride around that area uh, as well, but really nice homes. It feels more like Buckhead, Brookhaven down in this area of Sandy Springs. Um, right here, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta, Scottish Rite, huge, you know, um, 
Children's Hospital, uh, known you know all over the country, nationally and, and uh, globally. Uh, where's their other? Where's the rest of that? There's there's a lot. There's Emory, uh, lots of hospitals right here in this area as well. So huge medical community in the Sandy Springs area. Um, kind of on the border of Dunwoody all through here, you have Perimeter Mall, lots of bars, restaurants, shopping, boutiques mixed in and in, in, in and throughout that. And then this new, uh, this is fairly new in the last couple of years, but they, Sandy Springs Incorporated, uh, and it was like a public, uh, private, oh, I, don't forget the Springs part, Denny. Public private partnership, which means they uh, privatized most of the city services, only six of them, six employees. Uh, but now they've brought a lot of that in house. But this city center um, is a really massive new development you can see and they do lots of events lots of entertainment lots of activities car shows i've been to out there they have a nice little parisian coffee shop that i love um so tons of stuff going on in sandy springs um in the city center now performing arts theater um there you go that's a bigger overhead view uh, but pictures don't even do it justice. I love this new development area of Sandy Springs. So really there's a, a lot of little pockets. You could be around this area or you could be more towards this like perimeter mall, uh, perimeter center. If I zoom in, uh, two of the most recognizable uh, king and queen buildings right here. That's right here in this uh 400 285 corridor uh, as you can see it looks like uh, they look like uh, they have crowns on that's why they're called the king and queen building they make them different colors all the time so they are very prominent in the sandy springs skyline um, there were like no tall buildings for a long time and those have been there forever standing out like a sore thumb thumb you know downtown exploded with skyscrapers and then midtown and now buckhead and sandy springs is kind of the natural next evolution so whether you're a family or a young professional um you know sandy springs is a really great area i will warn you this is a warning um, can I do a traffic overlay really quick? Let's just close that, zoom out, and I don't know why uh, traffic's not on there. Oh, that's walking. I don't want walking traffic. This ex intersection, 400 and 285, is one of the worst traffic intersections in all of Atlanta. It's really all the major, let's zoom out. Four hundred, two eighty-five. this gets terrible. 85, 285, this gets terrible. 285, 75, this gets terrible. This, where all were 485, 75, like that, as you can imagine, becomes a nightmare at the worst times of the day. But it's really the morning rush hour in the afternoon. Pre-COVID, it could be all day long. Since then, it hasn't really been as bad, even though it does still get kind of bad. Um, but it's definitely something to consider if you're looking at the Sandy Springs area, is that is one uh, area that gets really, really, really congested. Now they are good news, bad news, right? If you move here tomorrow, they're doing, they're redoing this whole thing. Like all, let me see if I can show it to you. They're redoing all of these exits and all of these roads. Um, so it's even worse now, but once it's done, it will be exponentially better and so i'm looking forward to them finishing that at some point but it's not uh it's not done yet um, my daughter just played down here at this ashford dunwoody soccer complex uh over the weekend she plays club soccer but um 20 years ago sandy springs was still farmland and there was nothing out there maybe 25 years ago and now it's completely covered up it's one of the most booming developed places um, you can find. So that, that gives you a good idea of what's going on in and around Sandy Springs. 
Um, but I will say, it sounds like, sounds like my kids are coming in. So y'all may hear them in a moment, but that's okay. Uh, I, I'm a, I'm a human like everybody else. I've got life going on. Hey, hey Bubba, I'm recording a video on Sandy Springs. Can I, let me finish this up and I'll be right in. Okay. I love you. That's Lincoln. He's number three. Uh, but here you can see Sandy Springs population, 107,000. Um, the, uh, Grow, uh, median uh, household income is 78,000. Uh, so population 107,000, median income 78,000. And then you can see here the, the home, uh, median home value is about 590,000. So uh, the real estate market has been really, you know, it's been on fire like it has been everywhere else. And uh, I don't see that changing anytime soon. I mean, all markets go up and down temporarily. But if you look out five or 10 years from now, Sandy Springs has been a very high growth area. It's going to continue to be. I only see more development in the future. The job market's great. The economy's great. The housing market's healthy. Like there's a lot of growth. A lot of people moving to Atlanta. So uh, this isn't meant to be comprehensive. I could have missed something. And if I did, feel free to drop it in the comments below if you've lived in Sandy Springs or live in Sandy Springs. We appreciate all the comments, all of our viewers. If you haven't already, then uh, I'm going to stop sharing this just so you can see me. Uh, subscribe below, ring the bell for notifications so you get notified when I release new videos, do updates, new vlogs, new uh, you know map videos, all that kind of stuff. And um, if you're making a move, uh, we'd love to help you make a smooth move to Sandy Springs. So give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom, and we hope to see you soon. Sounds like my crew's walking in the door. And so I'm going to wrap this up and go love on them. But I will see you guys. Is, uh, see you soon. And again, if you need me, call me.